right, so uh, I don't know about you guys, but I retied my shoes before I came up here. <laughs> So, uh, oh, and also, if you could help me afterwards when we're having coffee, uh, my wife's sitting over there. I'm trying to talk her into building a wall in our apartment for me to do flips off of. So if you could kind of help me out, that'd be awesome. Okay, so uh, I've been doing free running and parkour for about six years, and I get asked the same question all the time, right? So how do you go from flipping off a park bench to sponsorship to uh, halftime shows, working with the World Free Running Parkour Federation. What does it take to take you know, a big dream and make it happen? And you know, the, the title of my talk is Dynamic Innovation, and the reason for that is you know, I do flips, that's cute, all that stuff. But uh, you know, the big thing is I think that if we want to make uh, big dreams happen, we have to be dynamic in the way that we approach them. So that's me. And that's uh, sort of free running, right? So the idea behind this is that we take stuff that seems really complicated and impossible maybe, and we make it possible by uh, breaking down the movements, understanding how they work, and then uh, progressing to something, to something bigger. And uh, you know, a lot of the times when you're working through these, you know, these really scary things, you find out that you know, your pre preconceived ideas about how this stuff works and you know, other people's preconceived ideas about you know, what you're doing are your greatest obstacles that you have to overcome. Uh, so she said, I'm a graphic designer for no obstacles. I didn't go to school for that because I feel that uh, degrees are kind of like medicine, right? So uh, some of it's super necessary and uh, very helpful, but there's also a pill for everything and someone trying to sell it to you. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell my research professor. Okay, so. <laughs> now, all of this is all well, fine, and dandy, but it has to start with an idea, uh, something big, something that's, uh, you know, motivational. And, uh, you know, m what I like to call this is, you know, where are you going? What's your dream? So, for me, my dream was I wanted to do something that was going to be, you know, really important, impactful to kids that were just like me when I started free running and parkour. And, you know, uh, so I'm curious what your dreams are. So um, we're going to try an experiment. I want everybody to close your eyes. So I can't really see if you're doing it, but just close your eyes, seriously. Okay. So I want you to picture, you know, your greatest aspiration, your dream. Maybe you've never told someone before. Uh, maybe you want to be an astronaut or I don't know. It's your dream. So uh, keep your eyes closed. It doesn't even have to be really specific. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? You know. Okay. All right, now open them because I only have seven minutes. Okay, so <laughs> you all look like you're very happy. Okay, so... Uh, so now you have this big dream, okay? So uh, we know where we're going. So take that dream, and I want you to put it in your pocket. We're going we're gonna to transition from where we're going. To where are you now? So <laughs> you guys, uh, a lot of you are college students, just like me when I had my idea. So you have a ton at your disposal. I guarantee there is somebody on this campus who's really good at that thing that you need to make your dream happen. You just got to find them. So for me, it was uh, when we started, I knew we needed media so that people knew what we did. And that looked like uh, me calling every single person I knew that had an expensive looking camera and uh, practicing not making like this face every time I'm doing a backflip. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you can make a list. Who do you know? What do you know? Do it when you get home. Okay. So we've established two points, where we are now, where we're going. For me, I have a couple personal rules that I've put together. Uh, they're not you know, exhaustive by any means, but I think they're super important. The first one is to do something every day. So the first day that you make an excuse about why you're not you know, going after your goal is uh, the first of many days to come where that excuse is every single day. So for me, this looked like uh, that first day, you know, I'm sitting in my dorm room, I get the spark. I really want to do something big. Uh, so I just started getting as many things going as possible, just juggling all these things in the air because one, a bunch of them are going to fail. You can't have all your eggs in one basket, but if you get yourself busy doing all the things moving towards your goal, you don't even have to know what specifically it is, but move in the right direction, which sort of brings me to my second point, which is be humble. Okay, so I'm taking pictures of me doing flips and all this crazy stuff, and I'm sending them to people. We're putting on products and sending them to companies and saying, hey, wouldn't this be awesome, like a magazine or something? You know, uh, but the thing is, is that what we didn't do was say, we're awesome. We didn't say, you know, what can you give us if we give you all these pictures, that sort of thing. This, you know, what can I do for you attitude and not what can you do for me is a lifestyle. It's not something that you can fake. You actually have to live it. Which sort of brings me to my third point, which is breaking free. So to me, break free means breaking free of other people's expectations. 
So there's all these people that are going to tell you, you know, like, oh, what you're doing is just, you know, sort of like a fad, like you're going to grow out of it. Uh, or, you know, uh, oh, you have a business? You must have gone to business school. Or uh, you know, my personal favorite, which is uh, you're not allowed to walk downstairs on your hands. You have to use your feet. <laughs> Someone actually told me that one time. Okay, so, <laughs> but the thing is, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to want to discourage you along the way. Maybe they've given up on what their dream is, but it's up to you to encourage them instead. And, you know, that's really what I want to do today. I want to encourage you guys. I want you to think about your ideas in a dynamic way to go after them. So, that's my phone number. So you can write it down if you want. Uh, I'm really excited about whatever you're into, and I want to talk about it. You know, I drink lots of coffee, so we could go do that. Uh, maybe I'll have a wall flip wall in my apartment. We could go check that out. Uh, but, you know, maybe, maybe the phone thing isn't really your, your business. So, you know, that's my email address. And uh, you could send me an email if you wanted. We could talk about stuff. But, you know, consider me one of your where I am now resources. Uh, I think that's really important to make good connections, and I'd love to be one of yours. So uh, without any more uh, time up here, I'm going to end this talk with one of my favorite things in life, a backflip. Thank you, I love you.